hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further i do let's get started then go to your file and select new in this tutorial we are going to use 1080 by 1080 pixels for social media resolution 300 here you can change the untitled to your design document name and click on create so this is our canva area where the design will take place the control plus it to copy then your solid color to paste the color code now we are going to copy the church name then import the church logo select your test tool we are going to change the color to white ctrl plus v to paste then change the test to center alignment and position it over here all right we are going to duplicate this bring it down and then highlight it then you type it then open the character spacing Reduce the font size. And we are going to change the font color. Increase the character spacing more. It's okay like this. Then adjust it. Then import this background and scale it. Then reduce the opacity to 32%. And I'm going to import this background. Then apply linear light. And reduce the opacity to 35 percent then apply your layer mask and blend the top and the bottom something like this then we are going to import this image reduce the size Also reduce the size of this one. Apply your layer mask and blend it over here. All right. It's okay like this. So now I'm going to adjust the brightness and the constraints. Then rasterize the image. And we are going to apply it to past labs. 
select details So I'm going to select the preset tool over here and you can see these are the settings. You can follow the process. Then click OK to apply it. Then if you want to know how to use to pass labs, then you check this video at the top corner here. I will leave the link in the description. Now you convert the image to smart object. Also, we are going to import this image, reduce the size and drag it to the top side over here. Then apply a layer mask and blend it. Then we are going to change it to color dodge. Then we are going to apply this background to transform the entire process. Then go to your filter, Gaussian blur. Then we are going to change it to 20.8. Right. Now, go to your blending mode and change it to color. So, you can see the outcome now. Hold your shift key while you select it and I'm going to drag it up so that the background will not cover it. Then import this particle. Then go to your filter blow and Gaussian blow. Then make it 8.5. Go to your blending mode and change it to screen. Apply a layer mask and blend the top. All right. Then you copy this one over here. Select your rectangle. Draw a rectangle over here and change the color. Ctrl plus V to paste before then I'm going to remove the character spacing by 0% then I will break it over here select this one and change the color to yellow or orange color reduce the font size Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate the test and drag it up over here. Then go to your test document, copy this one, select your test tool while you highlight it. Then we are going to paste it. Then align this one and change the color to white. Then we are going to break it. And now we are going to reduce the font size. Also apply the same thing by reducing the font of this one.
then make a copy of this one select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste then increase the font size then change the font to megan demo font and we are going to reduce the character spacing by 40 percent minus Then apply a blending option, bevel and embos, inner chisel, follow the setting here. Then go to the contour and select this one. Then apply a gradient overlay and over here is the color. Then go to your test document and this is the code the angle is 57 percent select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and go to your character spacing and remove it to zero percent We have to drag the test up. All right. Duplicate this one. Take it up and you bring it down. Make a copy of this one. Select your test tool. Highlight it, Ctrl plus A to highlight, Ctrl plus V to paste, change the font color to white, then increase the font size. Reduce it a little. All right. okay now we are going to apply the theme draw a right angle around here then we are going to remove the fill color and apply a stroke color by two percent select your test tool then you paste reduce the font size increase the size of this right angle something like this then come back to your test and rotate it and position it over there now apply vertical and the horizontal alignments draw another wrench angle we are going to make a duplicate of this change this color Then apply this by reducing the size in one corner.
something like this then select this one and copy it select your test tool Ctrl plus V to paste change the font color to black then reduce the font size and position it inside here drag it up to to show So we have to reduce this one. Increase the size of this one. Click OK to apply it. Then apply skill to make it look like this this is more better We are going to apply adjustment to the first background there. Then apply your layer mask to it. Then you change this one. Apply black color here. Then you can now blend it. Then also remember to make sure that your four color is black. So the other image you can see it's clear now. Okay, so we have to draw another rectangle over here. And the color white. Then another rectangle. Then let it be like this. Okay. Then we have to duplicate it. And drag it down. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. And change the font color to white. Drag it and position it over here. Then select your property, remove the link and then apply the setting here. That is two percent by thirty two percent. Now you can see the outcome. Then copy this one, duplicate this one. Select it. And you paste. 
Now we are going to change the font color to black. Reduce the size and drag it here. Then increase another rent angle. Reduce the size. All right, then we are going to change the color to white. And this one we are going to make a duplicate of it. Then you drag this one, position it around here. You can turn it off if you want. Now we are going to work on the first one. So now we are going to rasterize it. I'm going to draw a rectangle line at the center of it. So make sure that the rectangle is at the center. Then I will also draw another rectangle. So I'm using this as a guideline. Something like this. Okay, now what I'm going to do, select your lasso tool and drag it follow the guideline now we are going to cut out this one delete to remove it then ctrl plus d to tick select now you can remove the guideline then turn this one on Then remove the fit color and apply stroke color. Two percent. Also apply a corner shape by 32%. Then you can drag it over here. Hold your shift key while you drag it. Then we are going to select this monkey tool to delete this part then we are going to rasterize the layer now control D to deselect then scale it so this is the outcome of it now we are going to copy the location select your test tool Control V to paste and bring it over here. Reduce the size. Copy the location. Then Control V to paste. Reduce the font size and position it inside here.
All right, now import this light flare. We'll change the blending mode to screen, reduce the size, and position it over here. Okay. Now we are going to adjust this one over here by increasing the size. So here now we are doing some adjustment. Then we are going to reduce the boldness of this front angle line. Delete this one, duplicate this one, and replace it. So, adjustment is taking process. So as you can see, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for following. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. And if you need any of my flyer, then you can go to my Fiverr account. The link is in the description and make any order. Then use TubeBuddy. To optimize your video, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching.